once again we are heading north uh, this time we're going to a, quite a different area very different approach for caribou uh, it's been a very strange fire season normally fire season is about over right now it's uh, August 8th and there's been a series of lightning strikes in the interior that have created quite a bit of smoke including one of the areas we're going to be going through we're hoping that some rain can get that to die down so that we're not actually being suffocated out of our caribou hunting area but we have uh, we have high hopes we got ready our packs are about 10 pounds lighter than they were the last time we tried to do something similar so we feel dialed in and we'll, we'll see what happens well we're certainly hitting some smoke now smell it see it see what it looks like as we go further north exactly what we need to get rid of the smoke <laughs> the sun is choked by the smoke well we stopped and visited with Rev and Judy Ferguson went ahead and got a little bit of rest still got a ways to drive We're enjoying our microwaved Jimmy Dean bowls in the meantime but we'll uh, <laughs> we'll get going here shortly looks like the smoke's a lot better um, Delta Junction still says unhealthy but the smoke's dissipating um, where we're going uh, further on it's not looking bad everything's kind of going down to somewhat unhealthy a nice yellow color as opposed to a dark purple or blue color on the uh, air pollution <laughs> map so we should be okay um, rain came in helped clear a lot of it out we'll get going here and uh should be starting to hike up today hopefully get back to where we want to go look for some caribou that's all wildfire smoke we're definitely not out of the thick of it yet it's still pretty nasty but we have high hopes we'll get, we'll get past the worst of it bikes almost loaded up size is ready to go we're gonna start to make our uh, trek here and should save us uh, two three miles maybe at most but we'll make it easier if we actually manage to get a caribou or a bear um, saving a couple miles of walking after being up five plus days will probably be nice Trailers are working as intended. <laughs> Still pretty darn smoky. Not a whole lot of visibility. Can't even see the mountains. Well, our bikes are stashed. Mosquitoes are terrible. <laughs> and uh, we're hopefully going to be able to start getting some elevation here soon. Get limber. Starting to have fun now. A lot of bugs. Uh, a lot of bugs. Uh, starting to get up through the tree line. Between the smoke and the bugs. It's not, it's not fun. It'll be remembered as fun. It's type two fun. Whew. Taking my gators out. Still smoky. Bugs everywhere, but we're getting out of the tree line, which is always, always a good thing. Uh, A little bit of wind. There's a morale booster. Blueberry territory. Mm -hmm. I don't think Josiah's feeling it yet, but he will.
Josiah seems to have a genetic predisposition to being loved by mosquitoes more so than your average Joe. They, uh, they kind of murder him. And you get these giant welts, right? Yeah. So, the only way to get over it is just to get bit more, build up an immunity. That, the happiest mushroom I've ever seen in my life. How about you? No. No, for sure. Big black bear. Decide. Do you want to end this trip early? Yeah. Mm, well, we're really here for caribou, but that's a nice black bear. Just uh, what do you want to do? It's tough because this might be our chance to actually get something. Yeah. But uh, you'd have a pretty good approach too. I'm gonna range it. Well, oh, it's a beautiful salmon-colored black bear. And he's eating. We'd need to get above him anyway. The wind is, is blowing in our faces, so that's a perfect, perfect approach. Um, that might be the end of the trip though. We got food for five, six days in our packs. But do you really want to pass that up? What do you think? We could even stash our food somewhere under some rocks up here. Yeah. Come back up, drop off the bear meat, maybe drop. We wouldn't want to spoil, wonder where we could drop it off. Maybe at a friend somewhere. Come back out here. Go for it. All right, you've been wanting a black bear. It's hard to get a mountain black bear. Don't pass it over. <sighs> That's hunting. All your plans go out the window. All right, we'll figure it out. It's at 500 yards. It's too far for either of us to be comfortable making a shot. I'm gonna ditch our packs and then go. See if we can get up on him. All right, he's hanging around in the same area. We're gonna we're gonna go light. See if we can go in quiet and get him. If not, he'll spook. We'll go. We'll keep going up. We'll hunt caribou. Saw Josiah. College try without contact lenses. So I had a little bit of a hard time seeing him. And, uh, we're gonna stick closer together next time. So if one of us drops down, the other one does. It's no biggie though. We got, we got a whole week out. There he is right there. He's calmed down. <laughs> I guess we could go for it again. He's back on the other side of the brush. But he's pretty far away now. Probably just keep going up. Well, weather's getting nice. We're gonna leave this game of cat and mouse. I don't know if we loop up the uh, if we loop up the rim. He's still there. I suppose we can make another attempt. Gigantic crowberries. How are we doing?
interesting trail. Well, we're kind of at the top. So, yeah. we're gonna go have lunch, do some glassing, see if we can see anything. Exactly what I was worried about. I can get there early. We'll just we'll just watch him, but that's a that's a mature bull, and that's oh man. We could easily make an approach, but we can't. Yeah, that's that's a bull right there at the top. You can actually see even with this iPhone, you can see its antler. Yeah, upon further review. The bull is feeding away from us. We're looking at his butt. You know what looked like two sets of antlers is just one gigantic set of antlers. <laughs> That's such a big bull. And I can't shoot it. So we're opening day. I would go up on along those rocks. And I would come right down. And I'd have a caribou. But I can't do that. Not break the wall. But, but, if, I break the wall. but if I was going to, yeah, go yeah, if I did it, if I did it, the OJ Simpson, <laughs> the OJ Simpson story as told by me. If I were to shoot a caribou out of season, that's 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 exactly how I would do it. Because it's the most it's the easiest freaking approach I've ever had on a whole that thing. What's that? It's ten somewhere. It, it's true. It's probably tomorrow in here. Yeah. Some other nation. That it's is one of those things. It's one of those things. It's dead. That's hunting. We missed the black bear so, so that we could see something that we want even more. All right, we're gonna keep eating lunch and watching this caribou. If, it, if I got daylight at 12:01, five shooting light. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Doing our best not to spook the big fella. It's, I mean, he'll probably move. Yeah, there's some water. Let's go down there and get some water. Yeah, we need to find a water source if we're gonna try to stay on this bowl. Got caribou looking right at us. That's a nice bull. Do not want to spook it. Lay it down right away. It definitely sees us. Which is not going to move. Oh, man. I don't want to get him to run. Well, that's a different bull. It's definitely a bull. It's a, it's a nice bull. It's a dandy. It's not as big as the other one, but if we're running into two different bulls, I think we need to back out of here, conserve our water. Since that thing stops paying attention to us, we should probably wait till tomorrow to get anywhere near this area so we don't spook them all out of here. gonna have to pitch camp somewhere probably yeah just we should just not bother this area anymore that's two different bulls that are both shootable so yeah let's just find a spot to relax we're gonna pitch camp and we're gonna go around trying to find water where we can um, we're about a, we're less than a mile away from a water source but it takes us right through where we're seeing caribou and we've, I've got probably at least a liter left. Josiah's got two liters left. We'll be fine. We'll be fine for a day. And then we'll, there are some puddles on some rocks that we're gonna go pump with the hand pump filter in the meantime, do a little quest to keep us busy. Cause I think we're just gonna try to sleep until 3 a.m. <laughs> as soon as there's daylight, we're, we're gonna be out. Um, but that's, those are two different bowls. I mean, those are two nice bowls. One of them's gigantic, that other one, that other one's a mature bull, so we'll see. There's no guarantee they're gonna be there tomorrow, so. but uh, that's that's hunting. Uh, 
See, there's water everywhere. You just have to stand there for right to us. <laughs> I like it. I like it work. You gotta be kidding me. From that pile? And how many did we pass? So we were like, eh. Oh, we're gonna go back. We're gonna have so much water. We're gonna have nothing but mountain house tonight. <laughs> well, I got the Kuyu Summit three man set up. I'm gonna finish guy lining it out. I have to admit, although I'm sometimes frustrated with the poles slipping, it is hard to find a lighter weight, better tent for two people. It'll fit all your gear, it'll fit two guys. Josiah, <laughs> Josiah's rock water quest was successful, so we're going to dump that into our hydro packs. And uh, you're going to go back and get more? Oh, yeah. Right, we'll make some tea or something. It'll be a business. All right. Well, I got the Crocs on, which for anybody who's uninitiated, it's the best camp shoe to take hunting ever invented. It's also a really great way to let everyone know you're either in a long-term relationship or you're married and are otherwise uninterested in dating another person. Works far better than a wedding ring. That's take, why. That's why Josiah's no got sandals. Me, I, I'm not going anywhere, so I wear, I wear Crocs. Also great for crossing streams. Got JJ's picture. He made a black bear for me. Shoshana, Shoshana made this. Back when she was four, and yeah, it continues to be an accurate representation of my hair. But we're in a pretty darn warm tent, and it's what? It's a little bit after five. It's five. It's almost six. Five. It's almost six. We're gonna. Uh, I think what our what our plan is is to. We, we backed off those bulls. It was just too risky spooking them on a day we can't shoot them. Um, so we'll get up at three a.m. We'll see what happens then. We'll have enough light to be able to effectively hunt certainly within an hour we'll see if we can make something happen today i certainly hope we can looks like it's going to be a beautiful day we shall see this on your onyx. In case we don't get anything, we'll come back and get these. Pretty cool. Well, there's always some kind of story behind these Alaskan 
discoveries. Looks like a very old tin can. Somebody repurposed a mailbox. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Left it full of stuff. Looks like there's ground squirrel crap all over it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, not reach my hand in there. But uh, interesting, to say the least. Well, not good. Beautiful, windless, buggy day, but uh, wildfire smoke is creeping up real fast right to where we are. If we move higher, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it'll push caribou toward us, but it's definitely going to get a little harder to breathe here soon. Well, we've been out in about for six hours. I'm gonna get Josiah, my neck gator, try to keep the bugs off him. I'm gonna seal myself up as much as I can, see if I can take a nap. <sighs> but we had a very polite encounter with some other hunters. We definitely don't own the place. It was kind of, it's kind of nice to have, have such a vast area to just the two of us. But uh, a couple other hunters came up. I think they're local. Um, solid looking guys, a bit older. Um, we're just going to give them some extra room. He was polite enough to come up to us and kind of let us know his general area. And uh, as we moved, we kind of bumped into him. There's plenty of space, so we're going we're gonna to go back to where we were when he first ran into us. But uh, it's, only, it's only noon. We've got 9, 10 hours of hunting light left easily so we've been out here since 3 a.m see if anything starts showing up well Josiah might not be able to see brown bears but he can definitely spot a caribou quite a distance I don't even know if my phone can see it but there's a bull in the rocks over there so we're gonna make a make a try for it Oh, that scared me. Is he down? He's down. Of course he's down. Oh, caribou down. Josiah's going to go get the hunting packs. Um, yeah. Feeling pretty blessed. Pretty thankful. Thank you, guy, for this animal. Thank you, animal, for your body. You can see how easy it is for these to disappear. The brush. Good. Looks like it. Uh, it was a clean neck shot. I was hoping it didn't drift and hit the shoulder. So there'll be some neck damage, but uh, otherwise, all the uh, all the best meat should be just fine. I got just side getting the packs. It's a, it's a pretty stout bull, but probably in the uh, the 200s. It'll still be a, a tough pack. There's a blind sniper, as I call him. Doesn't have his contacts in, has trouble spotting bears, but you uh, can see caribou from a country mile away without any issue. So I guess we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. Oh. Feeling very thankful, and um, yeah, the easy part's over, <laughs> and that, that's true. We gotta pack this whole thing back to camp, 
which will be arduous. And then uh, we got a truck out of here. Well, we're gonna have to do two. Actually, two eight, nine mile round trips is what we're gonna have to do. If we can get this whole caribou out in one pack, we're gonna have to come back for our entire camp, pack out our camp separately. Yeah, that was lightning and we have a thunderstorm heading right toward us. So we better, we better hurry. It's hailing on us! Oh my gosh! Ow! Well, we had a time lapse going, but uh, the uh, hail knocked just out of his phone out. We are soaked, but looks like it's starting to just turn into howling wind and light rain. So that's good. So we're going to keep on going fast here. Well, it's uh, almost 9 o'clock. Had a hailstorm, some lightning pass overhead. But um, we got everything bagged up. We're gonna get it back to camp. We've been hopeful that we could get a run in tonight to get back to the RV, but I think it's just too much. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna make sure all the meat's taken care of at camp, and then we'll start making runs tomorrow that are gonna be what at least five, six mile runs. Almost well, it'll be almost ten miles round trip every time we do it. <sighs> Well, we have an entire caribou split between us. We got about oh. nine, <laughs> 900 yards left back to camp. Um, yeah, we're hurting pretty good. This is heavy. It's over 100 pounds. <sighs> yeah, let's go. All right, so we're back to camp. We've got our meat set up, so there's ventilation. It's on rocks. We'll rotate it if we need to, but... Just realized this tarp's gonna become a rain collector if it keeps raining. Give us some easy fresh water, so we're gonna fiddle with it, and make sure it can cool, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll uh, be getting out of here tomorrow. Heading back into the hot buggy lowlands, but uh, we're making good time. I think we'll be able to get to the RV, get this squirt away, make sure the meat's taken care of, and then shoot back up here. And be on our way. We'll see. It certainly is a beautiful day, but that does not it does not help when it's uh, hot and you're sweating and you're carrying a lot of weight. There's big Alaskan chicken there. Spooked us a little bit. Oh, must have been from a nice mosquito. Yeah, they're pretty vicious. <laughs> I didn't didn't know I had that. Anyhow, we're. Uh, Back to our bikes, getting our trailers set up. Feeling pretty good. Probably head back to the RV for an hour. Shoot right back up the mountain with nothing in our packs. But a pistol on my chest, I suppose, and some water. Then we'll, we'll be out of here today. Boy, we are flying on these bikes now. Esther Togiak, thank you. And uh, we'll hang out here for a little bit, make sure all this is situated, get the RV as cold as we can, and then shoot up the mountain and grab our camp. Okay, we're dropping off our bikes. It's a, it's a hot day today. <laughs> it's the hottest part of the day. But uh, occasional clouds, some wind. We're gonna shoot up there as quick as we can and hopefully get camp. <laughs> Legs are sore. Feeling a little heavy, but we'll get it done. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm sure the bugs are yet to come, but with a lightweight pack, 
is just <laughs> downright enjoyable. Oh, it feels good. settle we got wind and cloud cover so it's going to be going a lot making sure. good time up camp while the rainstorm passes overhead. Yeah, started coming down pretty good. Once we get this together, try to get this wet tent back in a bag. Keep the smooth sailing back on down the mountain and get the RV. Alright, packed up. No more camp. Ready to get out of here. Let's go. Break for the home stretch. So I was up and down, up three times. Each time's almost a 4K elevation gain. How many miles would you say we hiked? Yeah, I'd say probably right around 30. Not the most hiking I've ever done, but <laughs> elevation gain is rough. So we should be getting back. Everything is nice and fogged out. So it's good to have a trail. All right, we're back, pretty destroyed, getting everything put away. The meat's all set, the antlers are in, and uh, I think that's it for the trip. We're gonna get on while the getting's good, but glad we had success. It was definitely uh, it was definitely a tough one, not the toughest one we did. The last Easiest time. hunt I've ever done. Easiest hunt he's ever done with me, so that should tell you something. Yeah. But no, very grateful, very grateful that we were successful. Um, set out do what we ultimately were able to do so that's always good uh, feeling blessed now it's time to get back and do a lot of cleaning and processing all right